Beep. Hello and welcome to the Space Weather Study Group or the monthly guardian training peers and loved ones from my patreon.com slash ascension diaries page. Welcome to the video. I'm going to show you the updates. Here is the area over our ionosphere that, are, that is getting the most pressure right now. This is the area in our night side that seems to be getting some geometric or I would say more shapely and bizarre shaping and patterning. Some more right angles, square, rectangular shapes. Not really sure. It kind of looks like a gear. That's a little odd. Now we're going to update that data and see if that's still occurring because I wanted to show you that earlier. Uh, we're seeing a little bit more intensity actually on the back side but those shapes have sort of gone away. So things have changed, but the intensity is increasing as we move into today through the 12th into the 13th of October that you'll be watching this video. What else I've noticed is the electron flux is above average. Keep your eyes on that. I also saw that South Africa had a significant jump in electromagnetic field stimulation, lightning perhaps, whatever it is, on the 6th into the 7th, really down on the 8th actually, back up on the 9th and 10th though. And so the 10th is one day out of the last few days that has the most bizarre readings. The 11th seems to make the most sense with some solar flares, but the 10th was very, very strange. Here's some more evidence that that is actually being cut out. October 5th is totally being taken away. Doesn't seem that strong here, but I've noticed the readings jumping way above all the others on the planet. So that is something I want to note. I also want to note that October 9th in Italy was a busy day. And I believe that this may be why the 10th felt so weird. The 10th actually on the Russian charts was very, very, very quiet, which is another very odd anomaly. Very odd not to see any sort of spiking or behavior these days. But now into the 11th where we had some more solar flares and into the 12th where we had some more solar flares, I'm seeing a little bit of lightning uptick in the ELF range that this Russian resource is following. I'd recommend that you look up the Schumann resonances, by the way, on Wikipedia. It doesn't take very long. It'll give you some visuals about what I am talking about when it comes to the actions within Earth's field instead of what we're watching in the beginning here, which is more so gathering still on the outside of Earth's magnetic field or outside of our atmosphere. The gaseous layers here that start to seep down, it's a different playing ground. So what else I'm seeing is that over the last few minutes even, the last six hours, there was some very bizarre um, charges that were coming in. You can see here, it's kind of dissipated now, but I've never quite seen it dance like this where there's all these multitudes of little stokes and the X-ray radiation. So very odd, gonna point that one out to you guys. Uh, when it comes to the amplitude in Russia, like you can see here, it hasn't gone over 26 in the last 48 hours. Like I said, 10th was completely like very, very quiet. There, <clears throat> you can see on this, this particular visual that on the 9th there was an, a, a few explosions and into the 10th it continued to keep gassing off all of this matter you can see into the 11th and it calms down but there was actually solar flares which you can see the camera is flashing so potentially that's what those were there was another one on the 12th which you did you just saw the camera flash as well also take note that there is a planet in this shot you can see this bright white dot that is venus no worries but know that venus and the sun are hanging out very important right now just for a future reference we're going to see what those extract or expulsions on the 11th you can see it's actually going in slow motion but on the 11th we had a a decent enough ejection here where there is a wave of basically solar wind pressurized solar wind that's coming at a faster speed outward this is mars this red dot we are this yellow dot we're going to get the edge of it and it's going to kind of come in on friday and into this weekend it seems like so prepare for this weekend to have a little bit more pressure on you from the geomagnetic field keep watch of the solar wind speeds you can do that on spaceweather.com simply the solar wind is here if it's anything over 400 kilometers per second that's really when things start going above average technically so you can begin watching also shout out to those of you in alaska and of the other areas where you're getting lightning storms or thunderstorms right now just know that that's where the atmospheric 
chemistry and alchemy is grounding in the planet is fascinating to me. Thank you for joining. If it's fascinating to you, come to ascensiondiaries.com at least. Put in your email. I'll give you the biggest updates I can whenever it comes to any of these sort of solar anomalies that are happening. I'm on top of it. We are watching the solar wind go down currently, but like I said, by Friday, this should be going back up in speed and intensity. So heads up on that. We're getting a little bit of a break. We aren't getting as much solar wind out of this, this area, but it would be if it was bigger as well as the solar flashes or the, the flares are coming out on the right hand side of the sun. This is turning away from us, so it's not as big a deal. There's still some stuff that's in range that's kind of busy. This one especially I'm looking at, 3119 sunspot. But there's also some stuff coming around the limb for us to see. And these, these sort of storms tend to impact, I find, us more so. It's all due to the trajectory and sort of the spiraling effect of the moving through space behind the sun basically so if you want to know more and you haven't taken any of my classes yet i have just released a free class on my youtube channel or on my rumble channel it's called how to become a better space weather watcher it's for strategy and utility for all ages please and thank you for all of the fun i get to have on this channel thank you for boosting my videos thank you for caring about x class solar flares we on this october got to add another to that list so we have had seven x class flares this year so far two months left really well two and a half and we will see how the rest of this year sh shows up here on ascension diaries and on my my instagram and go to my link tree. You can see all of my resources here from this video. Please also join me on my telegram, either my chat or my channel. And I would highly recommend you follow these two Twitter pages, Space Weather Live and Solar Ham, to get updates about the solar flares, pictures, and so on. I will repost these things, but of course, it's nice to have your own resources too. Thank you so much for the donations here at Divine Sovereign Beings or at DS Beings on my PayPal. It all goes to a great cause. I have many little adopted beings that are living happy lives thanks to this work and all the busy work that we get up to at my house. So I will see you around in the next video. Thank you so much again for joining my Patreon. I will see you soon. Goodbye.